Uh, the Vertice. There you go, that's where we are, the Vertice. Wow. In Carinthia, in Austria. How's my Austrian? <laughs> you can do better. <laughs> you could do a bit better. Well, we've left and uh, we are now on our way to Austria. And what a fab couple of days we've, uh, we've had. And uh, even got the drone up. I've been quite nervous about uh, flying the drone and uh, it needed lots of updates and stuff before we flew it. Um, ever since the, we had the problem, uh, for those of you that watched the video in Costa Rica where Chris very cleverly cl crashed um, Doris the drone in the jungles of Costa Rica. Um, but yet we got the new drone up this morning and got some wonderful views. So now we've got about an hour and a half, two hours journey through the mountains um, up into Austria. And I then am shaking my head because I cannot believe the views how gobsmackingly beautiful this it really area is. is. The drive through these mountains is absolutely phenomenal. They're so big, beautiful little villages, snow-capped mountains, and uh, all the way through the, uh, the river with the beautiful crystal clear water runs through it. Really, really nice drive up here this morning. And you don't get to drive roads like this every day. arriving at the border of Austria. I think we've got about 18 kilometers to go. And suddenly there's snow, not just up in the hills, but we can actually see them here. And I'm very pleased that we bought our snow chains. Just because, in case. <laughs> well, it, and it's a legal requirement yeah, for to. Austria. Oh, there's skiers. I feel like something's wrong. I'm in a t-shirt, Marianne's in a light top, and we're, past, we're driving past people skiing. They're skiing! <laughs> uh, we're just passing through Travisio which is the last town, Italian town, before we hit Austria, which is only about seven miles away. So, we have officially entered Austria, which is country number 21, 21 for Tread the Globe. Good job. So if you're from the UK and you come to Austria, just a little bit of a tip, where the motorways are blue in England, actually the blue roads over in uh, Italy going into Austria are like the A roads and the green um, signs that you see is actually the motorway. So if you're trying to avoid the tolls, don't go down the green roads. So now that we've crossed into Austria, we've just, just driven past our first petrol station and uh, bearing in mind we're near the border, the price is about 15 cents cheaper uh, a litre now we're in Austria. So if you are coming from Italy into Austria, save it and fuel up when you get into Austria. But the GPL, which is our LPG, yeah, is cheaper in Italy. It's slightly cheaper in Italy. I think it's 10 cents cheaper in Italy. So we actually fueled up with our LPG, which they call GPL, yeah. um, whilst we're in Italy. In Austria, you need a, uh, a vignette, like a, you pay a tax to drive um, on the motorways, and I think they're also tolled. Um, we're avoiding the motorway, so we haven't bought a, a vignette. Um, so hopefully we don't take a wrong turn. <laughs> um, but yeah, so far so good. So we're just sticking to the uh, the smaller roads, which actually is much better because they're so much more scenic um, than flying down the uh, down the motorways. We continue driving towards the town of Villach. Our friend Patrick had driven down from Graz 
and we followed him through the countryside, the winding roads, as he had some sights that he wanted us to see. Welcome to Country 21. We are in Austria and we are with Patrick, our friend. For those of you who've been watching <laughs> the series from in the Spain. beginning, we met him in Spain and we became van buddies and uh, we had a great laugh together. So when we said we were driving around the world, he was like, you have to come to Austria. So we're here. <laughs> Yes, you're here. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> and he's brought us to this like crazy viewing thing that you can see behind us. It's called the Pyramidenkogel. There you go. It's called the what? The Pyramidenkogel. And, and what's the name of the lake that it overlooks? Uh, the Wörthersee. There you go. That's where we are. The Wörthersee. Wow. In Carinthia in Austria. That was my Austrian. <laughs> you could do, <laughs> yeah, do a bit better. So we got here too late. It's actually closed, but it is very beautiful. There's still beautiful views behind us. And at night, they got pretty lights. What's really funny is if you look at uh, the, the structure behind us, there is actually a chute, a slide that you can go down to get down. I want to do it. Maria wants to do it. So the lake, we're going to go and park up somewhere by the lake uh, down behind us there. And uh, we're going to hang out here in this area for a couple of days before uh, heading up to Graz to see, uh, to see Patrick in his hometown. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, home of Arnold Schwarzenegger. City tour. <laughs> City tour with Patrick. Oh yeah, we can go to the Schwarzenegger Museum. Yes, <laughs> we have to do that. Okay. So they've got a Golf GTI statue behind us, which is where they did a, a Golf GTI meet that started back in the 80s. And now is the biggest in the world, they do it? In Europe. It's the biggest in Europe. The biggest and, uh, car meet in Europe. They have yeah. a car meet uh, every year with uh, how many cars? I don't know, a lot. Thousands. Yeah. Thousands. Look up for GTI meeting at Wörthersee. There you go. You, you, you will find a lot of videos. Yeah, look. I know. This and the lake is right behind us. It's very beautiful, Patrick. It is beautiful. And That's there's why a we are here. Golf GTI. And there's a Golf GTI <laughs> just, <laughs> just driven past. <laughs> We've arrived back in Trudy. And my mum used to say to me that I was very lucky because I had a man that could cook. And I used to answer her by saying, it's not luck, I chose carefully. So this is my husband doing the cooking. <laughs> what are you doing for dinner, love? So we're gonna have uh, chicken with roasted vegetables and um, all on a gas stove, so I'm gonna show you. So we've got some chicken breasts that I've just cut in half so they cook quicker. I've covered it in some chopped garlic and the rest will come in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then I'm gonna use shawarma mix to uh, marinate the chicken, but you can actually make this yourself. I'll show that in another video because I got lots of spices in the cupboard. And uh, yeah, we'll leave this for like 20 minutes just to marinate. It's delicious. And I'm cooking. People always want to know what we eat in the van. We don't eat like this every day because sometimes we're lazy and we just eat like cheese and bread. I'm cooking uh, the uh, couscous. It's very technical. Patrick's with us, just chilling out. We're talking about visiting Graz. He's got himself Thank a beer. beer. <laughs> <laughs> so everything's like the fine. good old days. <laughs> yeah, in fact, like last, the good old days last, last time Patrick was sat in that chair and uh, Marianne was cooking dinner, yeah. she was cooking mushroom pasta yeah was it mushroom yep. alla mariana pasta yep. and uh she put it on the side and the bowl fell off yeah and my, my <laughs> bus was standing outside there was mushrooms we found mushrooms and tomato for like two days um, it was everywhere and you tomato have, sauce you, up your door you wasn't have it? to link the video oh we'll link there's, the video there's a video, there's a video. yeah, yeah. There's a video. But we were also talking. You can talking. see the mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> 
and, and and your van, which we nicknamed the Terminator, Trudy and the Terminator, actually had tomato sauce all up the side of it because the door was slightly open when I threw the dinner on the table. And in fact, the bowl slid off. So that I was just showing Patrick, we picked up these bowls at um, the NEC, didn't we? Yeah. Um, they weren't much. I think they're about four pounds yeah each. they weren't expensive um they were bowls and plates and i've actually talked about them in the newsletter a couple of months ago but they've got this rubber <laughs> ring and it's non-slip so now she the can't terminator put the dinner on the floor yeah. <laughs> the terminator is safe. The terminator is safe. <laughs> unless unless she's had too much wine and then she can still drop the bowl but at the moment <laughs> we're all good <laughs> So we've got some uh, aubergines and some courgettes frying up uh, in a little bit of oil with some garlic and the, the chicken is marinating nicely and Marianne's made couscous. Okay so dinner is served we have chicken with roasted veg and couscous. <laughs> it's good? Well we had a fab evening yesterday with Patrick laughing and just reminiscing about all the funny times we had in Spain and uh, today is Sunday and Sundays are the day of rest really but for us it's our work day so uh, I'm doing the finance blog for um, January so if you're interested in seeing how much we actually spend while we're on the road um, I share it all and you can see that on the website I'll put a link below and uh, then it's video making day and uh, we've got another video going live tonight marianne's writing the newsletter newsletter <laughs> um and so yeah so sunday is quite a busy is, is quite a busy day for us but it's absolutely beautiful outside let's uh, show you the view out the windscreen it actually beats my office view from my last job i used to have a brick wall <laughs> now look and there's actually snow on the mountains over there and there's three swans a mummy a daddy and a baby we're in austria and uh, we spent last night and uh, yesterday here uh, parked up by this wonderful lake we managed to catch up with uh, our sunday work day and uh, got the video out and the newsletter out. Good job. <laughs> and um, we're just gonna show you, we're just gonna wander across here. It's absolutely lovely where we're staying. And um, we're <coughs> really loving Austria. The weather's been good to us. Yes. Um, and it's actually quite warm in the sun. Yeah, it's warmer today. It's been a little bit chilly yesterday. Um, but there was the a, sun is shining. There was a really heavy frost yesterday morning um <clears throat> but yeah absolutely lovely lake that we're we're parked up next to um yeah, it's lovely and apparently all the rich and famous people own all the properties around the lake and this is the go-to place for all the rich people there you go patrick said that um in the summer it gets absolutely rammed mm. and um that the houses here go for absolutely millions because they're overlooking the lake yeah like the ones you can see um up on the hill behind us yeah it's been lovely stopping here and it's been free. We emptied our uh, dirty water, we topped up with water when we were in Italy. Yeah. So we've just had a couple of days it's here. It's nice. Be and because it's low season, I think this is one of the advantages of uh, driving around like we're doing. Nobody's worried about where we park because it is low season. Um, I'm sure in the summer, if that was ram jammed with motorhomes or camper vans, then the authorities would probably tell you to, to move to a campsite. But um, really, really nice. So Trudy's parked just below all those fantastic millionaires' homes. And just as you look around the lake, there is actually the tower that we tried to get up to the top. Just up there. But look at some of these homes around the lake. They're just glorious.
Join us on the next episode as we head into the city of Graz, meet up with our friend Patrick, do a few minor tweaks to Trudy and see the city by night.